Who's in and who's out? Human history is full of division. People create barriers, defining some people in and others out. It's a familiar story that has continued from the earliest ancient societies right down to today. Our human tendency to define others out of our own circles is well seen in the Bible too. Some people think that certain verses in the Bible promote ideas like segregation, isolation, and tribalism. Specifically, the Old Testament claim that the nation of Israel was God's chosen people and God's command for them to follow certain law codes as his chosen people has led many people to think that God endorses separating humanity on the basis of race or ethnicity, or even that God prefers certain people over others. But the reality of the Bible is much different than that. God did choose Israel as his people, but this wasn't about excluding others. It was about expanding an agreement that God had made with Abraham generations before. Now the Lord said to Abraham, in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. In your offspring shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. God's plan was for Abraham's descendants, God's chosen nation of Israel, to become a source of blessing for all the nations and families of the world. Rather than trying to win God's approval or help them get to heaven, the laws were meant to help Israel display their wisdom and intelligence among the surrounding nations. They were meant to set an example that would attract other people to God. But the story of Israel ends up as the story of an imperfect people who struggle to live up to the purpose they were chosen for. They regularly fell short of God's plan, suffered for it, and needed God's grace to bring them back on track. God chooses people for a purpose, to bless and redeem the world, not in order to treat them as better than everyone else. Ultimately, God's plan to bless the whole world would be fulfilled when Abraham's descendant, Jesus, would come to teach righteousness and die for the forgiveness of the world's sins. The reality is that all of us have fallen out of God's favor, but His love is big enough to gather us all back in. Who have you seen as an outsider or reject? God may want you to call them back home. <laughs>